Hey there, welcome to White Crow Roping episode 27. I just, I've listened to a few podcasts recently that really made made me think a lot. Uh, The first one I wanted to mention was a podcast called The Blazing Trails Podcast. It's done by a guy named Devin Riley, who's a bareback rider, and it's a really great I really enjoy it. It's been inspiring in a lot of ways, and uh, one day I'll I'll make I'll create content as quality as his. But anyway, he uh, he had recently had Stephen Peebles on and talking about he was asking Stephen Peebles about how his you know his career developed and and how he you know improved his his game, improved his style, and. And what really stuck with me was Stephen talking about how, how his he kind of mentally changed like he would drive for eight hours or he said drive all, all night and, and think about how he was going to ride differently the next day and you know change his style that way and he said he'd only you know he'd only been on 20 or, 20 or 30 practice horses throughout his career and I know bareback riding is obviously very different from team roping or any you know bareback riding is in a whole deal of its own but and he mentioned something that I've heard before and might have even mentioned in this series that you know if how the high percentage what the high percentage of I don't remember exactly what they say but of all performance is mental and so he it really made me think about it because I've been you know how he's talking about changing his game in his head you know or, or visualizing and, and practicing in his head over and over and 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 he's a world champion you know it's not like it's not like he said that and you know he just kind of hack and getting by he he's a tough son of a bitch and and it was pretty I remember what I remember when he was a world champion I think I was watching him it was 2015 it was it was a pretty exciting race and to know that that he did so much work in his mind is kind of encouraging or inspiring to me to kind of do the same or, or to refocus on that and, and keep trying that way. And uh, yeah, so I'll, if you if you want to hear what he was saying, just go look up the Blazing Trails podcast and and I can't recommend it enough for you to subscribe. It's of course it's free on iTunes and. And then the next one that kind of had me thinking in a similar in a similar vein was the uh, I believe it's the the Team Roping Journal's podcast, The Score, and listened to a day or two ago, a couple days ago, and they were interviewing Dustin Egoskiza, or how, I don't really know how to say his name. I apologize if you ever see this. I mean, he's sitting number one in the world right now and I mean awesome header I've seen a lot of seen videos of him where it just it's just so easy I mean three swings out of the box and two coils and handle the steer I mean and what he said was that when he was a kid you know in in high school and, and roping with his dad at home he his dad bought him a five thousand dollar horse to mess around heading because he was trying to be a healer he bought him his five thousand dollar horse and and he said he was more or less playing around with heading and you know he said there was a lot of trial and error and and i I don't want to speak for him he once again go down just subscribe to the score listen to what he said but it really hit home that you know sometimes i know i i'll just focus on something so much and, and and make it harder than it really is and, and like not just let go and have fun when I'm practicing and and really like he said that he was just playing around with it and, and, and kind of winnowed down how how he how to rope fast and how to catch the horns you know and it once again made an impression on me that you know I'm sometimes I get caught up in you know trying to be too analytical and think things through too much and you know I'll 
sometimes I'll go rope three or four steers in a row that like almost surprises me how well I do like it's like shooting a horse like sometimes over time you know when I first started it was always hard and, and you know a struggle and now over time over the years sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll get done with one and say man I'll see some things that every single foot I put down I see something that I could have done better but at the same time sometimes I'll, I'll I'll get done with a horse or three or four horses and think, man, that was easy and it better than I could have done if I'd really thought about it. And so that's that's I guess that's the point to get to in in roping. And I, I know that sometimes my downfall has been to you know overanalyze and think too hard. And every every run I say if I miss one, then I'll say, well, I got to this run. I'm really going to think about you know feeling my tip around my head or instead of, instead of just finding some way to tap into that flow and, and let myself go and, and do what I know I can do like so I, I haven't put a video out in almost two weeks or more I guess and I was up on the Pacific Northwest for a family wedding so I didn't get to I didn't carry a rope with me and we didn't have much room in the bags and but I was kind of thinking about it the whole time and, and trying to put it out of my head and relax. And we had a real good time and ate some good food, drank a lot of beer, and played some music. And even playing music there, I, like I was, they had uh, several people, different musicians come through, and my uncle was playing guitar, and there, there was a they kind of had an open deal where they, where they, uh, it was a real fun jam, I guess. And you know, I, I hadn't practiced any really, and I just sat in and just had an awesome time, and was just kind of letting it go. And I realized that's, you know, yeah, you have to focus on, you have to work hard at, at getting better in your technique. But at the same time, I sometimes I, I don't let my roping be just as fun or something. <laughs> And I, even with not swinging a rope, I hadn't been on a horse since, you know, for a week and a half, and my horses have been real fresh. I guess last night, I, or uh, two days ago, we got home, and I was, we drove back from Dallas, and got home, I picked my horses up and went right away, running some steers, a buddy of mine, and man, the first five or six or eight or something, man, I... I was cracking the horns and just going at it. The horse was real fresh, so I was kind of fighting him a little bit, but it was like it didn't matter. I was focused in on my target and swinging my rope and roping be better than I ever have. And until then, I took a break and was I ran the shoot for a minute, and I guess I got to thinking about it. And then when I, I got on my, other, my gray horse, you know, I turned some good ones, but at the same time, it was like a... I started out just kind of worried that, you know, how it would be after a week and a half, and I just mentally, I decided, you know, I'm just gonna go out there and swing my rope at my target and, and catch him. And I let off of that, I guess, and, and started, think of, started to think about it. As Soon as I did, you know, I got to struggle and struggle, and it was getting dark, and finally, uh, my last steer I ran, I didn't, I don't know what I did. I think I got my hand in front of my tip again or something stupid that I've been doing. <laughs> and as soon as you know, they started unwrapping steers, I asked my buddy whose, whose place it was, did you care if I steer stop a couple and go ahead? So I let one out and just ran out there and smoked him. I mean, my rope curl is as good as I've ever seen it. And I just kind of told myself, I'm just going to go rope this one and make a count my last run. And it felt really good to when I realized that I was kind of overthinking things. And so I don't know what I'm all what I'm trying to say completely, other than listening to those two podcasts with Stephen Peoples and Dustin Dustin Egoskiza. I think 
what I need to not work on, but just keep in mind is is that is to uh, just kind of trust what I know I can do and stop thinking too hard and letting my you know my thinking brain try to take over when I when I know I can rope horns and I know I can do it and kind of see what happens from there and and try to re- just relax and, and let my flow take over and focus on the left horn and swing my rope and go have fun so hope this has been helpful in some way and for sure check out those two podcasts i mentioned and i will see you next week thanks for watching